All right, everyone. So we are back again, and this is actually kind of like a special episode. It's what I call my shorts. And what that means is it's just a, a small, quick response to something that's happened in the media. And it just so happens that this came up right about the same time that we were getting ready to record. And I felt like it would probably give us enough conversation to actually do a, a, my, a, like a whole miniature episode. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing today. So what are we talking about? There is a representative, it's a libertarian, elect, an elected libertarian up in Wyoming named Marshall Burt. And this gentleman had recently uh, opposed a bill that Wyoming was looking to pass in response to these mandates, to, the, to these vaccine mandates. And it created quite, kind of a controversy. So that's, that's what I'm going to tell you right now. We're going to watch this video. I'll put it up on the screen so that you can watch it uh, with us. It's not going to be the whole thing. The whole video is a little bit over seven minutes. I'm just going to play a couple of minutes just to give you an idea of what he had to say. And then, um, then Tub and I are going to talk about it. So let's go ahead and we will play, we will play that video. I have poured my blood, my sweat, and my tears into my, in my job. And now for no reason that I feel, and for the reason I feel is flawed, my entire future is at risk. But this, these consequences are the price of my freedom. Gover government mandates are intolerable. They are the very definition of tyranny. They allow the government to violate our personal sovereignty and harm our families. Company policies are not mandates. Business owners are our constituents, our families, our friends, and our neighbors. They are the individuals with individual rights. Free markets allow those entrepreneurs to run their businesses the way that they see fit as long as they do not harm others. This special session should have been dedicated to protecting our business owning constituents from the heavy abusive hand of government. And these bills are not that. I refuse to trade the heavy hand of federal government for the heavy hand of the state. My wife and I have lost friends in this chamber, as well as my district. Next month, I will lose my job and my current way of living. But no matter what my family sacrifices, we will not lose our principles. This was a cost. Sorry. This was the cost of liberty for my family. Liberty is why I'm here, and this is where I will make my stand. All right, so here's what's happening. In Wyoming, they have a bill. They actually have two bills, but we'll kind of discuss one of them primarily. It's HB 1001, COVID-19 vaccine employer mandates. And what it does is it puts some limitations on employers for um, implementing vaccine right. mandates. Right. And so this is this is kind of their response for dealing with the federal. It's not really a mandate. People have been arguing about it, but I think it's just been no, nothing has actually formally come out of the federal government just yet. Right. So it's kind of like a press release. Um, and so this is the but this is the state level of, uh, you know, the Wyoming state um, response to it. So what I want to do is I, I, I let me post up a couple things here on this uh, on the uh, screen. So th these are some comments that I made on Twitter and where uh, I'll, I'll read them and, you know, I'll show them out loud. And then after that, Tub and I'll have a conversation about this. And the reason I'm asking, I'm having him talk about it is because he is a candidate, even though he's not a candidate to the state level. I, I do want to get his opinion on this matter. So one of the first things that I said was Representative Burt tries to clutch his evaporated principles, voting against state intervention of federal overreach in the name of employer free market choice frees companies from the market consequences libertarians claim to support. Companies did not have this policy prior to September 9th. And then in a follow-up tweet later, I said, if a company can choose to obey a federal vax mandate or not, then they can equally choose to obey or not a state anti-vax mandate. <clears throat> the best part is 
This is the closest to experiencing consequences for decisions in a free market so long as government is involved. So that's what I had to say. Tub, what are your thoughts on this? What, do you think that he should be – because he's voting no. He, right. He ultimately gets to the point where he says, I'm going to vote no against this bill. And he does point out that it was a little bit better now than what it was, but still – Still not still not right. Still not right. Okay. And his his, presumpt- his, his, his premise is that two wrongs don't make a right. Okay. So where are you with this? All right. So let, let's start with the fact that, once again, these like our social ones, I don't know beforehand. Right. Like you, I, like as, as people yep. are watching this, I'm learning it at the right, same time. Right, right, So I knew about it. He did. Yeah, so I kind of walk into these blind. That's why you might see me in the video. I'm kind of like, oh, all right, that's a good point right there. Because right. I haven't heard or seen any of this just said with your quotes. Um, all right, so naturally, um, I'm always against anything that says you have to do this. Okay. Okay. I kind of lean in that area. I like the idea that uh, we know how to run our lives. Okay. Now, let me give you an example. It falls along these lines, which I kind of made a stink here in Florida. So Governor DeSantis, who's done great things for Florida, there's no denying, even though he's not a libertarian, there's no denying he's done some great things during this time. Okay. So inside of that, he actually said um, any area, any school board, anything along those lines that tries to pass a mandate mm-hmm. for these things will not be allowed in the state of Florida. Right. I'm like, good. Like, I'm down for that. So then here's what he did. Shortly, just a couple of weeks after, they said, okay, any business that does put in these mandates, we will fine you. Okay. Okay. And I go... Wait a minute. That's just as bad. Okay. Like, okay, it's good that you said, hey, you had this freedom. Good. But now you're kind of just in a different way doing the same thing you're complaining about the federal government kind of saying you have to do this. And you made this stand against the federal government so that now you could do your level of it. Okay. And that's kind of what he did. I'm like, well, wait a minute. You just did the same thing. Just And so it caused this rift inside the two major parties because it's kind of two-sided. Right. In that he didn't do that. So my thinking is pretty simple along these lines. Okay. Um, Clearly... Um, I'm against any form of mandate. I, I would have voted no all the way down the line on this one. Okay. Okay. Um, and I don't even know that it takes a whole lot of explanation just <clears throat> in the fact that, um, once again, government has no right. Let me okay. make these decisions. Now, if we can, can we go to your two comments? Yeah. Um, because I want to mention those specifically because I think that wait, – did you say he was a congressman? What is he, a state? Uh, he's a state representative. He's a state rep. It looks okay. like uh, District 39. I'm not entirely – and I, I think that I think that he but lays it's at state level. I, I think okay, so but I think he lays out a pretty common, uh, especially. And, and let me be honest with you, it's not just a libertarian thing. This has really kind of grown past libertarianism in the fact that these are wrong. Right. So I, I think that he lays out very basic. This is he gets emotional, which is fine because it's affecting him personally. Right. But I, I'm, I think that his is kind of it sits in an area where many will. So that's why I want to kind of go to yours okay. for a minute. And, and can we give us some background on what this these, this bill actually does? Can I can I run it, through that real do quick? Do you have it? Because you know do. I don't have it. So. I have, right, right. So here, so here's what it does. I'm just going to okay. give you a brief overview. This is going to be mostly what, what you're looking at. It's got two major requirements. It says if it's critical to the health of the workplace, then you can't employ a vaccine mandate. And then, okay. and I think it gives some some. Is, are there examples? Some, what does that mean? Right. Uh, you know, and I but I think it, it kind of reads like they're looking more at like healthcare. But it, it it says hey, if it's critical to the health of the workplace, then you can put in a vaccine mandate. But then it does have this requirement that you have to permit religious exemptions. Okay. Or, and this is one I really like, antibody exceptions. Ah. So so if somebody can test and say, hey, I have antibodies, then you have to accept that as well instead of a vaccine. Okay. So, can we stop there for a second then? Yeah. We co- okay. All right. So on the two things that are there, the, the first one was it's critical to the workplace. Right. I, I think that we get into a gray area there. Yep. Because then each place could just say, oh, it's critical because we're a restaurant. And, you, right. you know, where does it stop? Right. Healthcare, I would go, okay, I get that healthcare is healthcare. Right. But once again, do those people right. not have a right Right. To decide one way or the other without being forced to do this. So I I don't like the gray areas, which is probably okay. what he's complaining about also. Um, the second part of that was religious and uh, I like the antibodies. Let me be okay. honest with you. I'm how, Okay, let me walk this as safely as I can for a second. I am not big on the religious exemption. Okay. Okay. Here's why. I, I think that if it holds true, use it. The problem is there are... A, as a pastor, there's a lot of people abusing religion. 
Okay. Okay. And so there are people who really knew who I, I know. <laughs> it's like you know, it's just us. It's like, but um, there, there's this there's this group of people who are using religious exemptions for these things, and they don't care a lick about any of it. Right. Like l- l- these are the people who are dedicated to Christ, or they're in their churches and serving anything like that. They just found an out. Right. And, and I don't like that. And and I'll give you a real life example of it. So uh, my brother recently called me. He lives up in Virginia. Mm-hmm. And we're having this conversation and he's talking about, listen, my job is about to make me go get the vaccine. And he goes, and I'm trying to do a religious exemption. And my brother's a good Christian man. Like he just is. Like he was an example for me before I came to Christ. Right. Okay. So, and I, and I even asked him, I was like, Hey, wait a minute. I said, are you really doing this? Do you really have a religious exemption? I know you're a Christian, but do you really have an exemption to this? He goes, I think so. And I'm like, okay, well, what do you mean? And he goes, um, we never got our kids vaccine. We, none, none of my nieces are vaccinated. Because they've been against, I'm like, oh, he has a true history of being against vaccinations. His own children aren't vaccinated. Right. To me, I think that's legit. I think it's a legit religious exemption. Okay. Okay. The problem is many times they're not being used for that. It's people hiding behind sure. faith and religion gotcha. just to get out of it. I really like the antibodies one. These right. are the people who said, I've had it. I have right. higher immunity than the ones who got the shot. Right. I should be good. I like right. that one. Um, it permits... For employees, a reassignment of work duties, um, provided that is not a burden to the company. And I envision this maybe being like, hey, what if I work from home? There's right? a lot of these going on I think now. That's, yep. I think that's uh, – so I think that's fair. Uh, the violation. For any employer that um, uh, that implements this after October 31st, mm-hmm. 2021, it's $100 a day per fine per violation. And then – If they do – hold on. If they implement – what if, if, if they, they implement a vaccine mandate? Mandate, okay, okay. Uh, All right, a hundred dollar a day fine per violation after October thirty first. So if they've already implemented it, it's a little different story. And okay, then severance. Uh, they they have to offer a severance for anybody who voluntarily terminates, voluntarily terminates, um, on the basis of hey, you're going to require it. Um, and I think there's some stipulations in there, so it's not just a a, a carte blanche. Okay, severance for anybody that that voluntarily separates. And right. then, um, and then here's what I actually don't like about it, but this is not something that uh, that Marshall and Mr. Burt uh, uh, talks about. There are stipends for healthcare workers. No, I'm sorry, uh, healthcare uh, facilities, and they want to offer one and a half million dollars per healthcare facility, and their goal is to keep uh, from losing healthcare workers. Now, I, I disagree with that because I don't think that it's their job to try to figure out how to get more nurses and doctors and healthcare staff in a facility. So, therefore, they shouldn't be offering money to try to help because all they're basically doing is saying, hey, here's some money if you go out and try to employ more people. And then they're going to do that, but they're going to have to do that anyway. If enough right. people leave, they're going to have to try to employ people. Right. You know so, what I, so always, I think that's, I, so I do oppose that particular element. I, I always come across, okay, they're going to give $1.5 million to each. Where's that money coming from? Right. Well, it's coming from taxpayers. Exactly. Right. And the that's my complaint. Doing, if the federal government is doing it, that means it's coming from you and me. Yes. That's, and that's, so, I mean, that's always not lots my of money, complaint. But, I mean, it might be they, like one penny or a half a penny. It doesn't. Right. But it's still, it's, you add that up over all the different things that right. government uses. Because, I mean, I pay federal taxes a lot of money. Right. So overall, I pay a lot. And, and I'm pretty sure that's not why I paid them. I'm pretty right. sure I didn't pay them so that they could right. basically buy off other right. places. Yep. Because there's always a backside to these things, especially if anybody yep. in politics, anybody who's got who has office. Right. There's always the backside. Well, if I do this, can right. you pull this for me? Can, you know, there's, right. Or there's, there's this understanding that says, yeah. well, I did this for you. Right. Both ways. Yep. So uh, I don't like, I think I agree with you in that, you know what? No, no, no. We don't offer this right. money. We don't. I, here's the thing is, if they did a private pool. Mm-hmm. And they said, hey, we got a number of healthcare places to get involved and they're all we're all chipped in money and we're gonna help you pay. I'm fine with that. Right. But now you're straight out taking taxpayer dollars yep. in order for a private company yep. to try to do it. Yep. We're not gonna do okay. Right. Two so, your things. Let's get to these things because okay. I want because because so far what I'm hearing is that you uh you are uh, aligned with Representative Burt in voting no. Yes. Oh, very much so. Okay. Yes. Because I am not. I opposed it, obviously. Okay. And I, I feel like he has, uh, he's kind of already seen a, a loss of his principles. But let's let's hear what you have to say. Well, about what do you this. mean he's already seen a loss of his principles? Um, I, I think he's standing by. It's like he's talking about losing his job, correct? Right. So one of my principles. So I think that it is not um, winning for winning's sake is a bad idea. Okay. Okay. That that's not what we should be about. 
But what I think we should be about is not losing our freedom either. And to me, not losing your freedom is in itself a principle. And when you have somebody that goes to, uh, they, they are elected, then sometimes because you have the government t- style that we have set up, where you have a federal government and then you have these autonomous states, mm, uh, well, uh-huh. supposed to be, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, but when you have this, you know, these, these sovereign states, that sometimes there will be a conflict. And yes, sometimes you do have to use the force of government to fight back against the force of government. Right. And in my particular case, I look at it and I say that we, uh, beyond the idea that we don't have a free market to begin with. Okay. Let's Which assume, we've covered. Let's assume that we did. Mm-hmm. And then the federal government said, we're going to mandate that anybody with 100 employees or more require vaccinations. Right. Or we're going to fine them. Okay. Okay. So what's happening now is now, if nothing else, that in itself is is a huge interruption in the free market because what they're telling companies but it, is they're but, saying you basically have to vaccinate your employees or get rid of them, in not so many words. No, no, that, basically, no that's basically, basically that's basically that's exactly saying. what they're saying. But and, how did he go against that? So what is there he, something in the bill that I don't understand that I've missed? So this bill uh-huh. is basically going to say it's it's going to it's kind of like a a competition, and this is where I got this. Um, if you can choose to, because a lot of people are like, well, company, their argument is that companies don't have to obey. They could fight back. And we see that with In-N-Out Burger right. in California. Yep. They've kind of they said, no, we're not going to, but they also got shut down, right? So they didn't go very far with that. And so the problem is it's a very one-sided free market. It's, it's, it, let's put it this way. Okay, yeah, it's a one-sided I, market. I, 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 don't the know government why, I don't know why you're disagreeing with him right here. So I'm disagreeing with him because to me, I look at it and I say, when the federal government has over uh, has over has exceeded its boundaries uh-huh. that is a prime opportunity for the state to say no and to push back in is, some way is that not what he's doing here no it's what, what am i doing. missing so what he's doing is he they're trying to pass this this uh hb 1001 uh-huh. to say there are uh there are limits on being able to require vaccines for your workforce so you're so your complaint is he's saying that he didn't go far enough no i'm saying he, that- he's voting against it He's voting it down. So if this bill were to be voted down completely, uh-huh. uh, it's going and, to and refer back no, to the federal guidelines. Then the federal, then the federal government is still in play. If this bill gets implemented, then what happens is you have the state saying one thing, you have the federal government saying somewhat different. Okay, which so there's I'm a not clash. Necessarily, I'm not necessarily against that. I, and, I, I, and I and that's that's why I, I said. I, I, all right, hang on. So uh, hold, uh, before we go any further, because I, I maybe I'm just not understanding what his side was, because it seemed like he was saying I thought he was. Pro, maybe we didn't listen to enough of the video either. Maybe. That, and, and I was and trying that, to keep it short. And that maybe I thought he was in alignment of, hey, our state's going to make these right. guidelines because we're not we're not down with this federal he's, thinking. He's he's going to lose his job probably. I heard him saying that. What was yep. he referring to? Uh, his his company and his, I don't, his I, private I, his yep, private. I, I'm, I'm not sure who he works for exactly. That's fine. But whoever okay. he works for supposedly is implementing this vaccine mandate. Okay, so he sees it firsthand. And so he's going to be he's going to be losing his job over right. this because he's not vaccinated. Okay. And he, but then this bill comes along that might actually protect his job by, so are you by the state saying you cannot implement this. So you think he's doing this nefariously to kind of no? Okay, I think what he's doing is he's standing on this principle of hey, the federal government shouldn't be getting involved in company affairs, right? But neither should the state. Okay, and what I'm saying is once the federal government has gotten involved, unless there's a huge outcry in 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 public. Which there's not. not then enough, you no. then you your only option is really to have state level state involvement. Le- right. okay. And to me, that's part of how our government was set up. So I think that, that's the purpose of it. Exactly. Right. And so I guess so maybe let me so let's let me talk to you about what you're saying as opposed to what's happening mm-hmm. there. Because maybe there's something I'm missing okay. there. Because I would agree with you in that I think that that's exactly why we have states' rights. Right. We have states' rights to because well, let's call it sovereignty, because a lot of people get they squabble over. They go over okay. States, right. All right. People have rights, states don't. Fine. States have sovereignty. We can, we can fight over words. Okay, so we're going to go with sovereignty. It's a very, it's a very okay. violent word. Okay. All right. So inside of that, well, <laughs> so government will get in and fix it for us. So, so here, here's what I, here's what I look at is because federal government does not uh, govern well. 
Right. And, and, and I don't say that just because I'm against all government. I'm saying that they don't understand many times the lower level, the right. lower level being the state in the cities and stuff along those lines. Right. So I, I believe that that's where states step in beautifully because right. they do govern more directly to the people. Right. And I think that that's where this is a great situation of the states saying, no, you're not. Right. Like, no, no, you're not. Now, I don't want a lesser form of it. I don't want federal right. saying this and, and the state goes. Oh, well, kind of. But I also don't want them kicking back right. just to kick back. Just right. to, Okay. So when they look at it and go, okay, federal, no, we think this is wrong. Right. You're not going to tell our people to do this. Right. I think that's a great place for the state level to jump in and go, right. no. Okay. When I saw that and going through this, that's kind of what I saw him as. Is a, right. We're saying no. Right. Without knowing the depths of the thing. That's where I stand. Okay. Right. So I look at it as, okay, I, I like the fact that DeSantis here said, no, we're not playing that game. Right. You're on, but then he did his own twisted version of it. Right. So, so I was against that so, idea. Of it. So so let's be clear. If the okay. federal government says companies in some way have to impose a vaccine requirement, uh, okay, I'll, you're opposed. I'll, very much so. Okay. Uh -huh. And if the state response mm -hmm. is to come out and say, if companies impose mm -hmm. a, a vaccine mandate, they will be punished. See, okay, understand. They just did the same thing. This is what I just said about the Santa. Right. So they did the same so, thing so at the level. You would oppose both of those. Both of those. Okay, so yes. that's what he's doing. Oh, okay. All right. That's what he's doing. I disagree with him. Okay. I disagree with him because one, I believe that the state needs to be involved. But aren't in they getting involved? Counter. They are. They're getting involved. They're basically offering they're basically countering and they're saying, like, oh, if you impose this under these you know, here are the, here's the criteria under which you can do it. Mm -hmm. And then here are the limitations where you cannot do it. If you are in violation of um, of um, what we say is um, not permitted, then you will be fine. Like I said, they just did a lesser so, level of it. I don't so, agree with so that effectively, either. So effectively, they are in, in fact doing the same thing. And I look at it as, you might look at it as fighting fire with fire. But I think my second comment yeah, is, is the one that really, in my one. opinion, sums it up. If a company can choose to obey a federal vax mandate or not, then they can equally choose to obey or not a state anti-vax mandate. Yes. So in this particular case, if this passes, then a company, they can decide, do yep. I want to follow what the federal government said and face punishments from the state, or do I want to follow what the state has said and, and potentially follow punishments face from the state, from the federal government? Oh, from the, okay. I like this because, this is what I said, the best part is this is the closest to experiencing consequences for decisions in a free market so long as government is involved. Okay. That's the catch. My, my thing is pull them out. Get rid of- Of who? The, get, pull state and federal government out. Well, that's the problem. We have federal in there right now. Okay. But no, what I'm saying is pull them both out and right. let the individual companies decide. I'm I fine would, with that. I would love that. Okay. And so then here's what happens. Then employees or right. customers, whatever it is, can then say, I right. I choose in right. or out, not based on something yep. that here's, they're, here's they're my forced problem. to. Here's my problem and why I feel like the state needs to do something like this, right? Because what ends up happening is right now, if a company um, mandates a vaccine mandate, you know, whether they want to or mm -hmm. not, they're not going to face any... Uh, as long as the federal government has said anybody with 100 employees or more has to do it, then anybody with 100 employees or more, when they implement a vaccine, they are not going to be subject to market forces because everybody has to do it. It's a requirement. So, they're, they're, I mean, you're never fully out of market forces, but you're not going to be in this. It's not going to be the same as if companies just decided, you know what? I think we should have a vaccine mandate. Then what might happen is I might quit and go to work for your competitor. Right. But if I quit now and go to my, com you know, my company's competitor, they're still they it's have the to same do, thing over there. They have to do the same thing. Same thing. Right. So, so that competition it's not doesn't there for that. Is, isn't the right. isn't the market at play. So what I say is when the state goes and says, okay, well, our response is to find people for having this mandate. But I think that's then, wrong. I think then what happens is that's but, the that's the closest you get to a, a market where they actually have to decide: Do I want to face this punishment or this punishment? Well, hold on. I think There's I think our problem. I, I think our problem is that we're willing to accept the idea that I had to face one punishment or the other. That's horrible thinking well, you, from no, the start. You always will. Yeah, but but no, you always do but, in the market. You do. But no, that, there's the problem though. Is that once again we've allowed them to tell me this is what I'm going to do. This is no different than. Other guidelines. Forget right. about vaccine and just say, they sure. say, hey, anything that we do, sure. you have to do this. Right. And we would we would be like, no, you can't tell us to do that. My, right. my company chooses right. one way or the so, other. So here, now let me let me get to the point why I think this is a value. <clears throat> a lot of companies are going along to get along. Mm -hmm. right? It's working. And and they're they're not pushing but back. But the government's working. Right? Um, because what's the harm for them? There's not a huge harm. I mean, they, they might lose some employees, because but more than they the 
Most but companies they're, they're, know they're playing big game. Most companies know that if everybody across the board has to do it, they can't lose too many employees. Because they're just going to do it over where here. Are they Why go? am I leaving? Because they're doing this while well, I got to right. do this over there right. also. So mm -hmm. my option, my only option if I work for a company that has more than 100 employees is to go to a company that has fewer than 100 so employees. So you don't have to worry about it. Yes. Right? Then, then how long have they fewer than 100 right. employees? And, and, and who knows how long that will even last, right? So it becomes more of an incentive for me if I'm unvaccinated to not get that, to go ahead and get the vaccine. So it's kind of this roundabout way of forcing people to get a vaccine. But here's the here's where I think there's a big value in this. We're, We're going to find the good in them telling us to get a vaccine? Once a company has to decide, do I want to deal with the punishment from the state or from the federal, then they have to start actually saying, do I want this or do I not? Right now, a lot of them are going along to get along. So all they're the not is the lesser actually, of two evils. No, basically. what I'm doing is I'm forcing them to get off the fence. This forces a company to get off the fence and say, look, either we're going to support it or we're not. Hold on. Because mm -mm. they're not doing it right now. Hold basically, on. companies are like, it's the federal government. What can I, I, I do about I, I think, it? I think, that that's, I, think that's a, I think that's bad thinking. It's going to finally force them to do something. I thought our stand is the government should never be putting us in a position where we they are forced be. to. They shouldn't okay. be. Okay, so we should be against both of the. Like I said, and kind of I think what's happening there. We don't want the federal government saying, do this. We want mm -hmm. our state, our state government right. saying, nope, we're not doing this. But then even our own governor right. made his version of it, kind of right. like what you're saying here. Right. They're both wrong. When they go along to get along with it, though, we lose freedom. And what happens when you lose it? You don't, you don't get it back you for one thing. You don't get it back. And that's the problem. So in other words, people are not acting. They're not responding back to the federal government in the way that they should be. The only way that they're going to respond back to the federal government if, is if there's a competing consequence for it. The same way that you might see in a market, right? In a marketplace, there'll be a competing consequence that people will have to deal with. And the problem right now is but, the but, problem that we have I, right I, now I, is I, I, too I, I don't many agree, people. I don't agree with this because right now the the consequence mm -hmm. is both government induced, correct, and, and, and that's not right. right. I, I think it's what we're looking at. This I, I understand. I like consequences of the idea of if I put out a shoddy product. Right. They're going to go somewhere else. What is the alternative response to what the federal government is doing? Right now, you only have the state response. You right. only but, have but, but, what, what, what would a state do? But the, let me ask you this. Okay, so what if we pushed back? What okay. if these companies said, I'm not doing either of them? Say, like, how would, long? They would how, be doing how something. And, how long and how, mon how, and how many of them finally going, we're not doing this. Like, you can say all you want. I'll tell you what, right now, right. we're not going to make our 101 employee right. start getting vaccinated. We're not going to play this game. Right. And and I don't think they will for the very same reason that when you see new regulation that a lot of large companies don't seem to say much. In fact, they sometimes even support it, even though it will cost them money. And I think the reason is because they're already established. Right. Right. It's If I have a 1,000 employees... I've already got a huge business. Mm -hmm. Now, unless I'm already struggling, which is its own issue. But, but if I'm not struggling, if I'm if I'm doing fairly well, if I'm making good gains in the market, then um, an additional regulation is just, you know, a bump in the road. Right? Same thing with this. This is this is an additional regulation. An additional and it would be just a bump in the road for me as an employer. Um and it's easier for me just to comply, the, right? At that and level. I think I think at that that's, level it's easier for you. I think, and, and and I understand that libertarians hate this idea, right? And, and there's actually like I got like I don't show it here, but there were uh, I had a lot more favorable responses to my comment about him and his evaporating principles, right? I got okay. a lot and from a lot of libertarians. A lot of there's a lot of libertarians that are like, hey, we need to fight back with every bit of ammunition that we have, mm -hmm. and if that means using the state, which we tend to oppose, to fight the state, then yes, because the consequences of not fighting back to allow people to be lazy and rest on their laurels means that we are eventually going to be a society where the government's going to dictate. We, I mean, we're kind of already getting there, there, right? where they're dictating what medical treatments we should have. Mm -hmm. And so to me, I look at it and I say, it is so dire. That is that is such a big deal that, yes, this is, the, this is an appropriate use to fight back with this level of the state. Now, does that mean that I like the idea of the state necessarily coming in and saying, all right, if you vac if you require a vaccine, then we're going to punish you. Right. No, absolutely. I do not. Right. Okay. I, I have a problem with that. All right. But what is the consequence? Think about the consequences of the state doing that versus the federal government, the way that they're doing so, it. Hold on. What the federal did, government the is saying you have to have this. Right. So what the proper st the problem, the proper stance of the state would be like, no, we're not doing any of those things. And then they drop it there. 
Right. That there's not, well, they're going to fine you if you make this decision. They're, that would be. Because they're not going contrary to right. the federal. They're just basically taking federal light is what they're it would, doing. It would be better if the state were to just so, say. We're not doing this. We're not enforcing it. But the only way that they could not enforce it is to actually impose a punishment for people that follow it. No, but once again, we want them, we want to, we want to allow those individual businesses to decide on their own. And once we say, if you don't do this, we're fining you. We've now put our thumb on the scale. The government has right. put their thumb on the scale and said, no, we're right. going to kind of lean you in this direction. So, so how does the state say, nope, that federal mandate is we're, not applicable? They say, we are not enforce, enforcing it. Enforcement is, God, see, here's the thing. Enforcement will be what changes things okay. because they're not going to be able to— So you don't to... think the federal government would make any effort at all to enforce what, it? What do you, oh, to what level, though? That's what I'm saying is that when we start pushing back, when, the, when they finally start realizing, when we finally start rising up, not right. just as libertarians, but as people, right. they start going, why are, why are we allowing them to right. tell us this? The problem is, like you said, we just kind of fall down and comply. Right. Okay, right. so once we finally start realizing, wait a minute, there's a lot more of us than there is of them. Right. And we can start making the stand of we're not doing this. So then right. all that has to happen is this. Okay, so what if the state made a law that says we're going to fine you X amount of dollars? But they don't really do it. There's no they don't sure, enforce sure. it. They can say, oh, we know it's doing it, but we're not going we're not going right. to travel down. And that could be their way of getting out of it. It's right. we're not going now, I, th I think it's a very passive process. I think I, I think what you're suggesting is a little bit more passive where you're like, hey, we're just not going to enforce it. Well, if you're saying that, then, well, hold on, you're saying we have to act one way or the other. I'll make the state should go, we're not doing any of that. Right, right, right. You but go do what you but, want as a business. But, but that's still passive. Right, and and We're I feel like any of that is passive. Yeah, I think the state when the when the when the federal government says this has to happen or we're going to find companies, mm -hmm. then the state that's a very active. I think effort, I think thumbing right? your nose at them and going we're not doing this. I think that I don't the think state, that's passive. If the state says we're not going to enforce it, well then you get into this and it happens all the time. You get into this game where the federal government. Um, has all these money strings attached to things, which they shouldn't That's have in the first place, mm -hmm. right? And so then it becomes uh, it becomes a, a game of um, of uh, uh, I'm trying to think of the game that you would w w cat and mouse, I guess, uh, something like that, right? Right. You know, game of chicken or whatever. Like, who's going to blink first? Right. You know, we'll withhold well, funds. We'll go through it right we'll, now. We'll withhold highway funds. We'll withhold these funds, whatever, until you submit to to what we want. And so I think that the best way for the state to fight back is to get the companies and the people in the position where they have to get involved, because that's where I think you get your most of your power, right? And I but, think that's but, where it but, rests but, the people. But hold on, but, but at that level, you're simply saying get involved to ours because ours isn't as bad as the federal. That they're both wrong. Those yeah, are both I, wrong. I, I, Those I are think, both horrible decisions. I think. I think the way the bill's written. Uh huh. Um, with the exception of the stipends for healthcare workers, I absolutely hate that portion. Yeah. The, the entirety of that portion should be ripped out. Um, that is definitely not their job. But as far as um, all their other ones, like saying, okay, you can you can mandate a vaccine if your your place of business has this critical need for it. So a hospital could easily say, well, you know, we deal with sick patients all the time. We we can't afford anything less. And I think some hospitals actually already do mandate some vaccines mm -hmm. so th this would be in line with what they already do in the first place right and then they tell some other but companies now, let me ask you a question though they're letting the individual company decide whether that's their they're, thing they're, are they're, they telling them they're they're offering an, they're, they're offering um a criteria under which a company can say can. we are which a company we, can do it not that right. they have to so right saying, like for, if, if healthcare right. is one of them that they can tell hospitals hey you can Yes. Do this. Yes. Then the, but then, then the hospital can still go, no, I think we're going to do it. No. That, that's the right, right way. Right. And then, but then they're also saying some companies, and we'll just say maybe, I don't know, Walmart, for instance, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe Walmart uh, has over 100 employees and the state says, okay, um, you cannot implement a vaccine mandate. And then Walmart comes back and says, well, we are, you know, it's critical to our, the health of our workplace. And then they provide their evidence and the state says, yeah, no, that's insufficient. You can't do it. And then if you do, we're going to fine you a certain amount of money. And, and there's, there's and, the problem and, also. And the state I'm, then determined I'm, who really fits into I'm these okay guidelines. I'm okay with that for two reasons. One, it's a response explicitly to the federal government that's saying you have to. And because the, what the federal government is doing, and this is my big problem, they are using companies as, to, do their the, to do their dirty deeds, mm -hmm. to say you and me have to be vaccinated even if we don't want to be. Right. Right. And, co and, and companies aren't doing anything about it. But, but so I'm on. saying the state, a, a proper state response is to come in here and say, all right, we are going to now oppose this, but uh -huh. we're going to do it in a way which... Gives you freedom. Which gives to, you 
a limited amount of freedom. Okay. So then if this went the way that I would hope it would go, which is for people to, for companies to say, you know what? The state law is more cumbersome. We're going to follow that one and we're going to raise hell at the federal level and get the federal government to roll back their intentions, right? Then what can happen, you have this thing in place that already has some exceptions and says you can do this. So then it's a matter of later coming by and saying, we want to amend our previous one and say that anybody that wants to can now that we've removed the federal government from the equation. But but hold on. Right, but the way right now the federal the government is written, in the equation. Yeah, but no, but the way that's written is forget about the federal government. It's kind of the way I'm looking at it. They're going, forget about the federal government. Here's the plan. You don't have to listen to them, but here's what you're going to do. You're going to do it like this. If you choose to do a vaccine right. mandate, we're going to tell you, oh, no, dude, you can't. Okay. Here, or unless you're in one the of these areas. Here's criteria where we won't areas. interfere. Okay. But, but here's what I'm getting at. All they just did was the same thing. They it's picked not. and chose which government, which, not, which, oh, how's it's, that not? It's not the same. Why, why does, hold on, why does Walmart not to get make that decision the same way the hospital would? It's who, not, who I, I, is it? I said it's not the same as what the federal but, government but, No, no, but what I'm saying though is that why can't Walmart? If, if they're putting in these things and the, and the Walmart comes saying, hey, we want to do this. Right. See, I look at it and go, Walmart, you have every right, right. to do that. I don't, care right. what the, I don't care if the government says you're not in right. this line of work. So if you look back, uh -huh. I pointed this out- how, my, how long? Uh, 10 or 15 minutes. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going a little bit longer. It's not okay. a whole new episode. It's okay. So at the very last line of my very first post, I said companies didn't have this policy prior to September 9th. You know what happened on September 9th? Mm -mm. That's when the Biden administration came out and he gave that speech and he said, we are going to implement Which this. Which they haven't. Which you also have right, to right, remember. Yeah. Right. right. Nothing's uh -huh. next. The threat of. Well, so he's allegedly sent it to OSHA and said, OSHA, you come up with some mm -hmm. rules. Okay. But on September 9th, that's when he said, we are tired of waiting around. We we've been as people. nice as we could to you. We've been as uh -huh. nice as you could. So mm -hmm. now we're going to use the force of federal government to make it happen. We're going to do it through, oh, I don't know, the Department of Labor, right? So so what they're doing is they're saying, you have to do this. Right. And we would right? all go, let's all agree, no. Period. No, we, we, that's what we should be doing. So the reason that I, the reason that I don't have a big problem with the state doing it this way is because companies had up until September 9th to decide on the free market that they wanted to impose a vaccine but, but, mandate. But, they chose not to. But hold on. I, I don't think that argument holds true oh, just by saying because of this, because- that, We've well, had well, vaccines nine no, months. No, forget, for, no. no for, think long-term. Think, think um, so what would happen if when they decided that slavery was wrong? Okay. Okay. And this company goes, oh, is it though? Like, is it? What you're saying though is as long as they came in and this this state came in and said no I think it's okay here no we had a thing that says no this is wrong it didn't make any difference when the date was uh, they didn't say well back before this it was okay they didn't have the argument of before this date it's okay so what we unfortunately I would actually make a similar argument okay so what we do mm -hmm. is is we now say okay from here on out because we deal with realities right. of the situations that we're in right. okay and unfortunately laws sometimes are playing catch up right okay. Not that there should be so many laws, period. Sure, sure. So, so basically, I don't think that's so valid in that the law now is just trying to play catch up to right. what that because they couldn't have predicted that they were going the federal government was going to do something stupid like this. So, that, so that it's not fair to say before this date. Well, of course not, because they didn't know anything so absurd was coming down the way. So, how, how could they make this before? Be, be, because we've been ha there have been conversations about vaccine mandates since last year. People but, had but been talking there. about there it. There were nothing. It was just talk. Yeah, the idea was on the table. People knew about it. Mm -hmm. They were talking about it. So this is not this is not some new concept that just popped up so out of nowhere. So how did you feel then? I said that last year at this time. I, I, I my opinion has always been so long as the federal government or state government is not involved whatsoever. But they are involved. Hold in your, on. In your, in your... Whatsoever, uh -huh. then vaccine mandates from employers are okay. And the reason I say they're okay is because the market can really decide. Yes. So if you own a business with a thousand employees and I own a business with a thousand employees and we're both in the same line of business and I decide to have a vaccine mandate and 10% of my workforce decides to quit and go work for you, that gives you a competitive advantage. Yes. Or it might be- The other way around. Somebody says, I work in a place that doesn't, I want to be in that. Right. Office. So it might give way. me the advantage. Yep. Man, or it'll just equal out in some yes. way, right? Like 10% of mine, 10% of yours, we just swap. Right. And so now we're all happy. We're mm -hmm. competing back as we normally would. Right. In that particular case, I'm okay with it. However, once you get the federal government, once you get any government involved, all of a sudden things that the dynamic has changed. You cannot rely on the free market to operate because the federal government operates on the basis of force. Mm -hmm. And that's where a lot of people were criticizing me. They were like, dude, it should be left up to the free market. And I'm like, that's gone. That was gone September 9th when President Biden came out and said, 
we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna uh, insist. We're, we're gonna tell OSHA to so, figure this out. The Department of Labor. How, we're how gonna you, tell them how to figure out. To right. Make how, sure you, that y'all you figure out how vaccinated. this works. Right. So, but here's the problem. Then, so are we angry then that companies are already doing this, even though there is no law, there is nothing out there that says they have to be doing, it, but they're already choosing so, to. I think you have a combination of things. I think you have some companies that would like to, but they know they can't do it on a free market and compete. Mm-hmm. And so this is the same kind of regulation that a lot of companies will engage in where they'll go, oh, we totally need this for the safety of our workers. And then conveniently, it makes it harder for new people to get in because the barrier to entry has just got higher. higher. Exactly. Right. All right I think this is the same thing that uh-huh. happened. Right. So what happens is all these companies who are accepting this, there are some who are accepting it because maybe they don't have the wherewithal or whatever. I don't know. But I think there are some who want to do it, but they don't want to have to deal with the market forces. And so I say, fine, if you don't want to deal with the market forces, then you deal with some other consequence, the state consequence, because we need to fill in that gap. There's a gap now. I question about why we would always be happy when we deal with the state consequence. Well, we should be a people who go, there should be no state consequences. Right. And we should try to travel. We're past that Okay. So what I'm trying to get at, because you're asking me as a candidate, where do I Mm -hmm. stand? Yeah. And I would tell you that in a sense, I don't agree with either of them. Okay. Okay. Only because the federal government should stay out of it. I, I I like the idea that the state steps in and says, "Hey, um, we're not going to force you to do right. anything." But I also don't like the fact that they, if there's companies who go against it, they find them. You're just right. doing the same thing. Same thing I complained about right. here in Florida. Right. Okay. So I look at it and I go, where this really should lay at is individual businesses should have the right to decide right. whether they choose to do it or not. Right. Because then. What you say is what we're, right. and I think that we're in right. agreement as far as that yeah, goes. Yeah, absolutely. We're, we're let these individual companies decide, and they can play it out either way. Right. That now it's no longer, oh, dang it, I got to do this because the state's telling me or the federal. Right. It's now I'm choosing to do this. I have right. 60 employees, and I personally think as right. me owning this bakery, I want my 60, right. it's a big bakery. Um, but I, if I want my 60 employees, they have to have vaccines. That's, right. That's a choice I make, and then right. I, as an employee, right. go I'm in or I'm out. Right. So, and and I think that I think that what happens is, in some cases, we have the luxury to wait. I think this is not one of them because, as you've seen over the course of just under two years, things have moved. It's absurd. Rapidly, yes. Right. And here's the other thing that I don't, I don't think people will really appreciate is that up in New York, um, the state government helped fund Excelsior Pass, which is a vaccine passport. And then they dangled it and they said, oh, you know, for companies that are willing to use this vaccine passport, we'll let you open early. Right. So it was funded by the state mm-hmm. and it was a condition of reopening. So the passport itself was not subject to market forces. The idea of requiring vaccines was not subject to market forces. So at this point, and, and because things are moving so rapidly, what I fear will happen Unlike many other regulations, right? Because you see this kind of thing happen all the time in regulations where maybe the federal go- government has imposed something and maybe they shouldn't have. Right. And maybe the state wants to push back. And in most cases, I don't think this level is necessary. There are other ways to push back because you have the luxury of time. But when you don't have the luxury of time, I think what I think the, the appropriate response is to say we're going to do our best to create the closest situation to market forces that are possible. And the only way to do that is to basically say – you are going to have to make a choice and you're going to you're going to pay one way or another right because if i was on the market and i wanted to implement a vaccine mandate yeah, but you're ta- but i'm going to pay one way or another but you're talking about between two private companies you're going to pay right. one way or the other but this is the government right. is not a private company so the only way i would get on board mm-hmm. in this sense of the of what the state decision is and, and i wasn't I, I loved it when DeSantis came out and said hey we're not doing any of this game right. but then he followed up with that we're going to find you if you do it um i would like the idea if he says hey listen if you do these things we're going to find you and then they go yeah, right. Fine, you dude. Yeah, you know, like we're not going to enforce this. Once again, we have to understand. I think that what we kind of went too quickly over enforcement. Right. Enforcement, enforcement. Okay. It, there's a lot of laws. Right. Okay. Enforcement is what matters. Right. Okay. So I think that a lot of times that we always want to talk about when add these, do the things, take these things away. Sometimes you just got to go, you know what? We're just not going to enforce that law anymore. Right. Like there's still a law that says that when you pull into Atlanta, you got to stop at city limits and honk your horn right. so that you can be escorted so, through the city by horse. So if, if, the fed, if at the federal level, OSHA is offering a fine to a company, mm-hmm. how does the state not enforce that? The, the, okay. And I get what you're saying. Is that now as it pushes its way through, right. okay, these are the areas we have to find, okay, how do we, how do we not enforce right. this? Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. How, how do we, first, right. maybe we have to pass a law right. that says we're against that. Right. No different. Right. It, it, it makes no difference whether, where it forms out of right. the federal government to, and it hits the state. So let me ask you another question. Okay. 
um, on our very brief fifteen minute talk. That's right, right. Well, this is now. right, right. Yes. So, let's say that I work for you. All right, I like the way this starts. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so far, what you're thinking, you're bored. Like, you're probably getting written up today. All okay. right, right. <laughs> Go ahead. So I work for you. Uh huh. And um, thus far, there's been no vaccine mandates. Okay. And the federal government has said is basically looking to force me to get a vaccine, mm -hmm. which they are. So, okay. so they come to you and they say, hey, Tub, um, looks like you have more than 100 employees. And if you do, you now have to require all of them to have a vaccine um, or subject to testing. You know, that, that was part of it, which we haven't talked about. But okay. let's just go with the, the, the mandate. Yep. And so that you, you have to have this. Uh, all your employees have to have this uh, this vaccine. OK. Um, otherwise, we're going to punish you for it. So and then you say. Uh -huh. OK, government, I'll comply. Right. Oh, are you, so, saying, are you telling Did you just tell me as your boss what I'm doing? No, because I'm I have another like, answer. For I'm, this. I'm suggesting that maybe as okay. a company, because a lot of companies are doing that. Uh -huh. A lot of companies are like, we're going to comply with what the federal government has said. OK. By complying, mm -hmm. are you not complicit in the federal government imposing against my personal autonomy because i'm my following hold on if that's the case and that follows all laws they're basic, of all things they're basically using you as an as their arm to make me do something they want that I okay so do. what if i do this instead what if i said hey neither okay, okay. So, so here's what i'm going to do i have tubs bakery shop here okay and i have pastor tubs bakery shop down i'm gonna have two of them okay i'm gonna have two businesses right and guess what i'm gonna now be under now I'm under my, right. my mandate of sure, 100. Sure. Hang on. This is, the, cause this, is the, this is what I want people to remember what we talked about earlier. Why? What are the other options? So right. here's your way around it. So I start another business. Run the same place. You can do all that. It's, not, it's nothing illegal right, against right, that. Right. So I open this other business up at the same time. And so now I have 60 employees here, 60 employees here. And so how do I do this? The one at this company says, I like the mandates. You know, I like having a vaccine. Okay, you're part of this company now. Okay, I don't like them. Okay, you're part of this company now. And I can do this down the road. Sure, sure. So guess what I just did? I just effectively made it, federal government can say whatever they want. It, uh, that's fine. Right. We've made a way now that we can say, I'm not, screw both of you. Right. We're going to do it like this. It, it, hold on. I, I, I want to say, because we keep thinking, this is what it has to be because this right. is what they're telling us. No, no, no. I want us to start thinking of other right. ways. And guess what I just did? Right. I just found an effective way. I, I don't think that was ever a question. Businesses aren't doing that. They can do that. They're, I mean, to me, but you asked me what did I do? Sure, I'm your boss. And that's what I said I do. Well, no, what I, I, I was asking for, what I was trying to get at was. Oh, hold on. What answer were you looking for that I well, did not give you? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that, what, I, what I was trying to get at uh -huh. was, are you not complicit if you comply with the federal government? Right? Let's say you do. Let's assume from, because many companies are. So this is not really an assumption. Complicit? You, if the federal government says, DL, I wanted you to. President Biden gets up and says, uh -huh. I wanted people like DL to get vaccinated. Right. And he won't do it. Mm -hmm. So therefore, I'm going to tell companies like the one that he works for that they have to impose upon their employees to get a vaccine. Otherwise, they will be fined so much money. So, and so then he knows that what's going to happen is the company would cannot, I mean, they can only go so long with the fines. Like that's just not, you know. Yeah, they're gonna, they're so, they're so, uh -huh. so, so their alternative is to effectively probably let me go. Right. But so now what's happened is the federal government has a forced uh, basically backed me in a corner trying to force me to take a, a pharmaceutical a pharmaceutical that I don't want to take. Mm -hmm. And then B, they're actually saying we're going to interfere with this already ongoing relationship that you have with your employer. If the employer goes along with it, is not the employer now complicit in this violation See, of my I, rights. I don't like I don't like the complicit term. I think that's what's Why? bothering me. Why? Uh, because that's like saying, okay, if they come through, okay, my let's say I have my bakery okay. and I do deliveries with my bakery, but the law says you have to wear a seatbelt while you're in this truck delivering my goods to the store. Okay. Am I complicit in that? Sure. I, I'm complicit because, so now I'm sorry, I'm sorry you got to wear a seatbelt because it's my fault now. I, I'm an active so, part of making so that happen. I, 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 well, am I, I, so you're telling me I'm an active part in causing that. You're not like, causing it. Oh, no. No. Oh, okay. No. But that's kind of when we start laying out complicit. I mean, when you when a new when a new regulation comes up, uh -huh. I would say all if, companies if, follow that line. If, all companies if, say if, I, I don't like it, but I have to the, do this. If the companies get on board and say do, nothing, uh -huh. or actively support it, then yes, they are complicit. Right? Um 
So what, then your boss is complicit for things that are that you do. So do you, are you going to quit your job because but, of it? But if there's if there's already an exit, like seatbelt laws, for example, uh -huh. have been around since what, like the 70s oh, or something that, like hold that? Hold on. The time in makes no difference. It doesn't make a difference. No, I understand that. been a law for 30 I, years or six I, days. I, I, I understand that. That doesn't change. I understand that. Okay. And and I, I, I'm not sure if there's any laws that specifically will say, if your employees don't wear a seatbelt, we will fine you, right? What happens is if is I don't wear a seatbelt, I get fined. The company might. I'm not really sure. I know there are some instances where the company would get, like, if I'm a drunk driver. Yeah, yeah, driving. exactly. The so, company so, is the one that gets in trouble right, for that. Right, yes, right. So the company would get in trouble for that. But I think there's there are many things. So where it's not really the that company that gets fined. My bakery guy, never mind a seatbelt. My bakery guy's drunk. Okay. And he gets in a car accident. Who are they suing? They're suing people, the company. Yeah, people are going to sue the company. But so then I look at it and go, wait a minute. So wh why is it my fault? I, it's not my fault that driving drunk is a problem. <laughs> right, right, right. So I'm not. So it's not me. I'm just kind of. So I, I, I don't think. I, I maybe it's like say maybe it's just the word. I don't like implicit. I don't like it saying like I have this active role in it. Right. I'm just following along. Right. And, and unfortunately, you're right. This can. This. Right. We are. They're already there. Right. All of these things are already in place, which right. is part of a libertarian complaint. And, and, is that and, there's so and much to be honest with you. Place. Um, now that I think about it, I'm not sure that the seatbelt actually works because if I own the truck, then I can tell you how you operate it. And I could say, when you're in my truck, you wear a seatbelt. Okay. When you're so in how my is that truck, different with the vaccine? Well, it's a big, it's, it's way okay. different well, because the, the, uh, the vaccine is going into my body, not your body. Okay. So oh, let me ask you. Okay. So if you work for Pepsi, mm -hmm. you cannot drink Coke. I have no idea. Oh, trust that. me, that's real life. Like you can't, like you can't go in and buy Coke products. You can't go into certain stores with your uniform and stuff on. They're, they're very strict. Okay, about okay. It. I mean, okay? that makes sense. In that okay. sense. Okay, so the, here's what they're telling you: you cannot, you can only put Coke products into your body. Right. What's the difference? That was known up front when you got the job. You agreed to it. That was that was that was no, already no, an agreement. But at some point, they probably implemented that. But but the state didn't implement that. But hold on, the We're, government didn't. It's it's the no. That's, you, that's no, the difference. Hold on, that's no, the your, big difference. No, your argument is the what can your, your my employer is forcing me to put something in my body. They're doing a Coke and Pepsi all the time. Where's the argument there? But there, but there, uh, the, the, no, uh, the, you uh, have uh, to do the but. You have to do the but. The but is the difference is at Coke or Pepsi, they're doing it on their own free will. They're saying, hey, we as a company have decided. Okay. Right now, and this is the point that I made. The federal government has come out and said, we're going to require that you make your your employees vaccinated, right? Mm -hmm. Effectively. That's basically what they're saying. I mean, not, not quite saying it that way, but that's basically what they're saying. And I'm saying that up until September 9th, they had, what, well, nine again, months? The day has nothing to do with it. It does. Day they had nine it. months. Companies had nine months to decide, just like Coke. To Coke, do what? Coke decided. No, no, no. no. no tell, me what, tell me what they had nine months to decide. They had nine months to say, once vaccines roll out, we're going to require all our employees to so get vaccinated. So what's the difference? The difference, the date, what the difference, difference make? The, the, the difference, lead up? The, the date itself is nothing to do. Okay. It's just, it just marks the time when government got involved. And it also points out that there was plenty of time for a company to decide on their own that, hey, this is a policy that we want. In the same way that COVID, but, in the same way that- That makes no that difference COVID, because but ultimately they can make this decision now, but if come September 9th, the government said, right. no, you are going to do this. What they made up before that makes not a little difference that. anymore. But what I'm saying is no company, there, there was no company that came out. I think maybe the airlines were kind of tossing it around right. about, but there was ultimately no companies that mm -hmm. came out all year long. Yeah, until the government said, hey, we're fixing and, this. And I, said, I'm agreeing with you in that, but I, just, they, I think- They weren't doing it. So to me, what that tells me is that there wasn't a desire to make that happen. Uh -huh. Now, the, or there was a desire, they didn't want to have to deal with any market uh, consequences. And you don't get to determine the heart of the company. It, it, and That's it's the fine. reality of it. But, you, but what, I, what, I, what I'm saying is, so long as the federal government is requiring it, mm -hmm. there's no way for us to know whether the company is doing it on their own or because they have to. But either way, as far as as long so, as the so federal on, government, our complaint now is not about the company. Our complaint is about the government. It always has been. Okay, it always so has been. I, I think that that's and what I'm we saying that ads. I'm saying that in order for us to get back to a free market where we can determine whether or not a company wa actually wants this policy mm -hmm. and they actually want to deal with the consequences of whatever whatever policy that they want to implement. Because I'll, in the same, you mentioned Coke, right? Like yeah. Coke can say, all right, but we're not going to allow you. Let me you clear to, something up though. My Coke and Pepsi reference is only in. In your argument of putting something in my body that I don't want to no, do, no, that's understand. all that was for. And 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 and, and it's, a, it's a great comparison. It really is because I can look at it and I can say, well, Coke has made this decision, mm -hmm. and 
they made this decision on their own, knowing that employees might be like, man, that's I dumb. That. I love Pepsi. Right. You know, I just happen to work for Coke because they got good benefits, yep. right? Like that could easily be the case. But Coke did that knowing that there could be some sort of consequence, right? There could be a backlash from their employees. Yeah, yes. Right? And so they were willing to deal with it, mm -hmm. right? Whatever that, what, all, thing all goes, on their own. Same thing goes to a vaccine. Right, all on their own. Same thing would be in a vaccine. If it wasn't mandated by government. If there was no mandate. I, I the, agree with you. The yep. moment that a mandate comes out. It changes things. But I, but you nobody want knows be, which is which. Right. But you want us to be angry at a company. But no. I don't think it's a company we should what, be angry with. What, we what should I'm, be angry where they, where, where, what put the I'm, fault where it belongs. What I'm saying is the same, in the same way that the federal government is kind of like forcing the hand. They're basically using uh, businesses to do their dirty work. Right. We basically do that in reverse. And we basically, it's like, okay, if you're going to be a willing uh, participant in this this force in some way, mm -hmm. right, then it then our way to fight the federal government is to go back that same path and basically put and basically make sure that they suffer a, a consequence. This is why I was getting well, at- on. All you're doing is you're saying somebody who doesn't agree with me needs to suffer in one way no, or another. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is your decision, their decision right now, is backed by force of government, which state or state or federal, right? Which one? Federal. Federal. It's, okay. It's backed by the federal government. Uh huh. Right. So that means there is no market consequence for them. There really isn't. For who? Any company that has over a hundred employees, there really isn't a market consequence. Because no, yeah, no matter what, they're gonna. It's the same. Right. And and okay. and and for me as an employee, I can't use the market. I cannot vote with my feet by going to another company. It just simply won't work. Although, with the although federal government hang, right hang on, hang on. That's that might not hold true. It does. No, no hang on, because the mandate is a hundred employees are over. Right. I go to work for a smaller company. Right. I might go and work for a smaller company who has a lot fewer resources, so therefore I have to take a pay cut. But right. what, but, but hold on, that's an assumption. Because how many times have you seen? Good one. But no, 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 no. I, I've seen smaller companies who actually pay pretty oh, well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some of them do. And so what I'm saying though is that. I think if we start making, we've made this either or based off of what the government told us is the plan. And I think it's time for us to start looking past what the government says. It has to kind of fall in one of these two areas. Because all we're really doing is arguing which part of government we think is right. And no, we have to look at it and go, I'm well, not doing that. Both wrong. I'm really not doing that. And, and so I want us to look at it and go, wait a minute. Why Why do these have to be the answers? Why, why can Why can these companies not start a, almost like what I said, another company right. and, 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 and they get it done? And I'm gonna I'm gonna embarrass you a little bit here, but you are absolutely making some of the same um, arguments that many of the anarchists that I've been arguing make, and I know that you love that, <laughs> right? Because because a lot. Of... Whatever you do, do not let Spike Cohen hear this. <laughs> Spike cannot hear this. All right. 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 No, maybe he'll so watch you. So you make show. sure you cut this off at 46 minutes, right, so we right. don't run into. Right. No, but and so what? I, my my argument really boils down to. We are no longer in a free market, so therefore we cannot rely solely on the free market anymore. No, I agree. We, I are, agree that you we are now in a market that has government regulations. The way out of it, mm -hmm. in my opinion, especially given the given the, the the serious concern, the serious nature of this, because I feel like things are rapidly moving oh, in, yes. a, in a very uh -huh. negative way. And if we don't do whatever it is to stop them, we might be seeing boxcars, like right? Mm -hmm. right? We might be seeing where... They'll let somebody starve because they didn't want to be vaccinated. Can you see right? that that's already I, at I, risk? I, I think we're already there at that mm -hmm. risk. So therefore, I look at it and I say, because of that dire nature, we can't use clever means in the market to fight back against bad regulation. I think the way that we do that is we use legislation um, in the reverse way to basically say, um, one, it gives you some actual force to fight back with. Right. Mm -hmm. Because in the short order, sometimes uh, and not, not always, but sometimes uh, the, the force of the state is a bit faster. Right. Because they're more involved. They know more at hand right. into what's going right. on. Because mm -hmm. because the state is unfortunately good at using force. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm accepting this bill, even though if it, if the federal government didn't have their guidelines, I would absolutely reject this entire. bill. Yes. But in, unfortunately, in this entirety. is a pushback. But to me, this is a pushback mm -hmm. in the way it's pushing back is to say, we're not going to allow companies who might want to do this or might not, but to sit back and do nothing. You now have to be, you now have to get on the, um, off the fence 
And if you want a mandate, if that's what you ultimately wanted, then you need to get out and say so and you need to support it. Yeah, I think it. that's fine. And if you don't yep. want it, then you need to push back against the federal government. And then what ends up happening is if companies hopefully push back against the federal government and the federal government backs off and says, okay, OSHA is not going to do anything, then what you have is uh, you have a, a foundation for companies to be able to vac- vaccinate if they want. And I feel like when you have something that's open to allowing people, it's easier to broaden it than if it says we're going rest- to we're going to force you to to uh, we're going to force you to do something. It's harder to undo it. Right. Right. So, so the, to me, when people say, <clears throat> um, like like a couple of people have commented to me, they said, you know, you can't fight bad government with bad government. Because I think that the federal government, what they're doing is much more evil and much more disastrous and much more difficult to roll back than what I see here in the state. So I'm more willing to deal with the state. I'm half on board with the state one because it's very similar to what we have here. Like I'm fine with them saying, hey, you're not going to do this, but you have a choice. But I don't like them saying I'm going to fine you when you make the choice I don't like. Because that's what they're saying. They're, I, I don't find you when you don't make the. Because here's what this federal government says. Here's what we're saying, right. which is the opposite of right. what they're saying. Right. But when you don't agree with us, you're in trouble anyway. Right. And, that's and, just, and, it's, and, it's, and I understand it's the that. same problem. So I want to stick with the easy answer for all of this. I want every company to choose on their own without government infringement as a candidate. Right. I, 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 every time this came around to me, I'm always going to vote against anything that says a company has to do this. Okay. I'm always going to vote against it. Okay. okay. And so inside of that, each company to decide. Right. Now, unfortunately, certain laws are in place, so I think it's time for us to start thinking this one or that one. No, no, no. I, I think that right. my idea of side-by-side companies is the same. Guess what you just did? Okay, that's fine. So let me ask you this then, and we'll wrap it up. Okay. Um, let's just assume, I know you're a, a local candidate for city council. I so, am indeed. So chances are- That's not going to get to you. This is not going to get to you. But let's just assume that you were at the state level. Yes, sir. And a bill like this came across- mm-hmm. And you know that the federal government is trying to force people to get vaccines that they don't want. Right. How would you vote, and why? Do, okay. Do I? And what would you do if you if you voted no? How would you? What would what would your alternative be? Okay. Oh, all right. So once again, I, I think that we have to find a level of it. And, and I'm trying to explain because I don't think I fully. I think I'm still missing something inside that bill because I like the idea that says, "Hey, you're not going to do this," but it, it just sounds very similar to Florida, and then that's why I keep bringing it, it up. It, okay. All right. So I I, I think Florida is a little bit more restrictive because I think Florida said no businesses. Period. Right. And I believe here they said some businesses if you qualify. I, I don't like the if you qualify part. Okay. Okay. I I like the if you choose to. Okay. Uh, I, I listen. I am not against a private business saying, "Hey, we want all of our employees to have them." So, I think it's fine. So if we, so if the state passes a bill and says, "If you choose to," uh-huh. how do we know that they're choosing to and they're not I, I don't following? I, I don't care. That, 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 okay. okay. So you making, would vote no. We, we, yeah, we're making an. Okay. If, if that's what you're saying, fits into that thinking. Like yeah. I said, if you're, you would, you would vote against this bill. I, I guess I'm trusting okay. you and that you know the underlying stuff that I'm, yeah. I might be yeah, missing. Yeah, we're, we're okay. We're, all right. Okay. All right. So and, like, and, and anybody that's watching, don't hold him. Like if you see him, like don't get. He hasn't read the bill. I read the bill. I gave him the details. Everything that you heard just now is exactly what he heard. And yeah, we I, do I, this on purpose. Yeah, because I, I want to kind of like, I, we I want to come and, at this the same way. And I, right. but I like the, this. I, I do I, some I, show prep. He does not. I, I'm just a sorry bum. Um, I just show well, up. And, on some, okay, on, what are we doing? Right. On some <laughs> things, there's some show prep. On some things, there's not. On this particular, there's, when we watch videos like this, there's generally not show prep on his part. And it helps to just get a more invigorated conversation. So if yes. I was your constituent, and I mm-hmm. said, hey, man, I'm going to be losing my job because this company over here is uh, going to be following the federal mandate. What are you going to do to help me? Are you going to tell the company they should just break up into smaller companies? Yes, I would suggest it. Okay. Let, I would just honestly say, hey, okay. you know what? Here's how you can get around this. Here, okay. Here's an option. All right. And so you would tell me as a constituent, start looking for a new company. Most definitely. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, right, you know, have another one. That's yep. our first uh, significant disagreement. I disagree with him. He disagrees. He's still with me. wrong, but that's, that's fine. okay. Actually, I don't even know how disagreement. I mean, we it's are okay. To an extent. He's, you know, he's getting down that path of anarchism. <laughs> just, he will eventually know. be standing shoulder to shoulder with Spike. No, hardcore <laughs> anarchist. Maybe one of those agorists. I don't know. I'm not really familiar with all these cool labels exactly oh who goodness. they are, but I know that there are some that are like absolutely not, no government whatsoever. The market will figure it out, and if you made a choice, you made a choice. So is my non-spike option to go? I think 
We should just no, follow. Not oh, oh, I'm not dang. I'm, just, I'm, I'm giving, giving you a hard time. Spike, I'll, I'll do it at this. Case. I'm just giving you a hard time. All right. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it, folks. That's what we have. If you have any further comments, go ahead and drop them in the comment section, whether you're watching this through the Facebook app or whether you're watching it on YouTube. Let us know what you think. You can jump right in there and be like, hey, DL, you did a very poor job of arguing. Or you could say, hey, Tub, you're totally wrong. Uh, Whatever the case may be, not that one. you know, offer your thoughts. Um, just let us know. Drop a comment in there. Uh, send me an email. You know, find us on social media, Tub for Jacks on Jacksonville. Uh, I'm sorry, on Facebook. And then you can also find me at Liberty Dad Pod on Twitter. And with that, I think we are out. That's all for this episode. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And connect with me at Liberty Dad on Facebook, Liberty Dad Pod on Twitter, or send me an email to LibertyDadPodcast at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you. To catch Liberty Dad episodes when they air, head on over to Facebook.com forward slash Free Speech Media Network, where the weekly episode airs Monday night at 10 p.m. While you're there, be sure to check out other free speech media shows. Prefer an audio format? Find me over at LibertyDad.com or just search for Liberty Dad, all one word, on your favorite podcast app. Remember, if you're a champion of liberty, your business is people and your product is liberty. Have a great week. Catch you next time. And I'm out.